All right. I'm getting there with Watcher. I'm getting there. It's up to about 66% win rate. 14 and 7, I believe. Don't check my math on that, but it is 14 and 7. Yeah, I mean, that is 66. It's literally like 3 over 2. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get it going. I swear, it's been a Tain Rare card, I think five in a row or something. So that is horrible right there, definitely not that. So it's between Potion and Boss Relic. Last time I saw Potion versus Boss Relic, I took Potion and it was fine. There's a few caveats there though. Like I think I hadn't seen an early shop, so it was more doable. And I think I was gonna hit a bunch of events, so like, if I remember the context correctly, so it made more sense that I could probably take Potion and be fine for it. But with these early shops, it goes right into a guaranteed green elite though. Yeah. Could alternatively just do like this. No hard pulls unless this rolls a fight. Get two events to maybe get a removal. Get an eruption upgrade before the elite. Could do another event, fight, then do a shop with a lot of money. Three elite, three elite act, but only one camp. I mean, three elites in a row with no campfire could be an issue. Now, if I go that way, definitely potion makes sense. We would have a really good chance of getting a good potion. If I could even get two, I could hold them and that could really help me get through those fights. The alternative here is probably boss swap into this. And we might as well go, well, <laughs> yeah, it's a three elite fight there, but there's more fights, there's I may even want to go potion that route, just so I have a good potion going into there. So the question is, you know, either route it's just one shop. Um, I can't get two shops in this act. Would it be better off just going into that shop with a bunch of money? But that shop is the only way I get there, is if I take on three elites. I am locked into three elites if I want that. This one, I could just not take those elites on and just go that way if things went poorly. I mean, green elite isn't necessarily so bad. Um, sentries are obviously the worst, and regen is probably the worst. Metallicize, any, anything really, other than strength is probably the best. As far as the buff, as far as the buff it gets goes. Hmm. Nice thing, I guess, too, is like I could replenish my potions here to take on the final elite. This is not going to be an easy one. I think it's potions, though. Alright, we got two pretty good potions there. And we will go this way. Not the best opener. Which boss was it? Guardian. Hmm. This is very unfortunate. This is extremely unfortunate. Alright, we should be able to get the kill here. Oh, don't do that. Only one damage, not bad. Oh man. Dupe pot. I mean, there's no way I would have drank the regen potion in that fight. I have to think a dupe pot is better than this regen potion. Okay, empty mind. Good pickup. Very unfortunate. I don't think Distilled Chaos beats either of these, and Power Potion definitely doesn't. So, Dead Node. You know, I think that's a shrine event, too. I think it is. Yep, 
That means now we're gonna. F I'm just not even gonna talk about it. It's fucking annoying. It's all it is is fucking annoying. Maybe we'll just find some good stuff. Who knows? Oh wow, I didn't even didn't even realize I wasn't in calm there. Oops. I still probably make that play, right? Hey, um, there's a ch so you have 27 health, essentially. With just vigilance and defend and try to hit eruption again for the finish. We should be fine here. Chalworm proves to not really be too much of an issue. Wow, I have like no potion chance now. That is unfortunate. Okay, empty fist. We'll definitely take an empty fist. We're getting good card rewards at least, so... You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's hit him. I should probably just try to draw through this. Flurry or Wish? Flurry with the Empty Fist does have a decent... And the Empty Mind? Hmm. Yeah, definitely tempting. Uh, I didn't get any help with Niao for removal, so... And my events, I completely bricked on. I guess it was technically better than the last game where I lost 50 health. But, uh, still pretty bad. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I would add another card that is, you know, twelve, but could also just take the wish. Without a talk to the hand, the flurry isn't like super good. It's not necessarily good on the guardian either, whereas wish is. I think I'll actually take a wish here. Annoying, to say the least. But, whatever. Definitely gonna greed here for the, uh... For the, uh, wish, I think. If I can. I don't know that I can. It's really hoping to draw a wish there. Would have gone quite a long ways. I am willing to pay a little bit of health to greed here. If it ends up having to happen. Well, we'll either kill him or not here. I'm not gonna take 11 for the gold. Just hoping to draw a vigilance or def another defend even would have been best, but we'll just kill him. I'm not gonna pay... 11 health for 25 gold. It's just not gonna happen. Skip. Upgrade Eruption. If Eruption were upgraded, we would have had a lot better fights there. Okay, I don't think this guy's too bad. How greedy do I be here? I think I should greed for the money here. Just try to draw back into stuff. I don't think I'll have to use my potions here either. Might as well start with the empty fist next turn. Empty fist is probably the next card I'd upgrade currently. Hmm. I should draw this, even though I'm not going to play it. 
because I need to like draw back to the other cards kind of ASAP here. I am gonna have to use these potions because I don't know this game just hates me it just fucking hates me I'm gonna use this here I'm gonna save the other one if I can took fucking so much fucking damage here. It's fucking insane. Definitely shouldn't have gone that bad, but if it just bottom decks eruption every time that I need it, what the fuck can I do? If I would have known it would have went that bad, I wouldn't have took 25 gold there. We basically, I mean, if I had just added like strength or plated armor, we could have saved so much health there. Well, with 50% sentries coming up, conclude is not that out of the question. Still don't have a great defensive option. Don't know if I'm desperate enough to add a halt. Don't think halt is quite that good. I think a conclude, since I am pretty damn desperate, makes sense. Now please give me a good event here. That's not a good event. We're just bricking, bricking, bricking. Currently, it does nothing for me, so this dupe pot needs to hit on a good. Like, it doesn't even work with conclude, by the way. Alright, this is probably just dupe um, plated armor here. That's pretty powerful. Might as well Miracle conclude here. Definitely don't want to lose any of our plated armor. After I kill this guy, as long as I've maintained my plated armor, we should be good. So my empty fist is the shit. Probably not worth risking eruption here. I mean, I literally can't get damaged now. If anything, we should start thinking about happy flower. Um, with either it... I guess it's just a hallway coming up, but I probably want to end on two then, if I can. Get him in range. Does that kill? That would not kill, right? 18. Now we just need to kill next turn if we can. Okay. Third needle's great. We're desperate enough to add a like water. Right now we don't really end in calm that much anyway, so it's probably not worth it. Are we desperate enough to add a perseverance? Into Guardian, into Knob. It's not good into Knob, it's okay into Lagavulin. Without I mean we most likely get a potion here, right? Maybe even two. I don't think we take these. No, this shop sucks. I'll definitely take that fear potion, most likely. The other potions are pretty fucking useless. 
Um, I'm not going to spend 81 on an artifact potion. Like, it might be okay into the ne next fights, but it's only just barely scratching the surface of okay. Like, it's at 14 health, it's not going to save my life. Um, I could take maybe a Centennial Puzzle, but that's, like, good for later. It's really not going to help me right now when my health is at 14. But it might be worth it. I got a lot of gold. I'll probably add a car of reality. Um, I could even add, I could argue tranquility here. It is cheap. Man, I was really hoping to get some better stuff offered here. Car of reality is acceptable. We're really not constructing that good of a deck here. I guess I'm not that worried into the Guardian, though, if I can get the plated armor off, right? That should pretty much get me there, more or less. Card reality is not that high of a card for me at this point, I think. Could be pretty good into Lagavulin, though. Let's take that, remove a defend, see what we're working with then. You know, buying that card reality, not only does it add another card, but it makes it so I can't probably remove at an early shop. If in Act 2. You are pretty desperate right now. I mean, I have a thread and needle, I have a wish. Maybe I'm not that desperate right now, actually. So let's not add desperation picks here. We've already added too many desperation picks to this deck. I could do 22 heal here. I feel like playing to win those just to take the 5. 5 gives me enough to get through these fights, I think. And then I'll just have more max HP. Oh, conclude please. Okay, we did draw conclude. Uh, so I would have to take the strength here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's not really any other option here. I, I can kill if I just take the strength. So what we do is we do that. Conclude. Glad I took the conclude, I'll tell you that much. I will say early on, it's definitely pretty worth. I don't know about another empty fist here. Crushed joints is not necessarily out of the question either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to remove two cards already and I've already made one gold removal so that's already looking at a lot of gold. I do have a wish Deck is not strong enough to actually use Wish for gold, though. I don't think I take another Empty Fist here, and I don't think I take a Crush Joints. Yeah. Okay, um, at 19 health, Vulnerability Potion. I don't think I greed this. We saw how that went last time. I haven't really improved my deck that much since then, and I have way worse potions than last time. <sighs> I could also give myself strength. I feel like I don't need the strength as much as I need the plated armor. Let's do that. I'm going to try to not draw so that I can hopefully not redraw Vigilance. Okay, so now we're just going to Eruption Strike. Would have preferred to draw, not a Defend here, but that's fine. I don't want to use this if I don't have to. So, I could Miracle Defend here. I think that's fine. I don't want to take any damage here. If 
18. All right, good fight. Strawberry, bleh. Okay, we're definitely good on Guardian. I don't think so. Okay, upgrade Empty Fist. I think. This is more for Act 2. I'm just so unworried about Guardian that I really am more worried about the Act 2. Might as well just uh, take him out here. Like, we have Empty Fist Vigilance coming up. If not, I can. It's not the end of the world to be in Wrath here. That is literally as bad of a draw as we could have got. <laughs> that is, it doesn't actually get any worse than that. Oh, that's pretty sick. Uh, let's do this. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Whatever. We're not gonna lose this fight. I know that much. I wonder if I could actually greed out 25 gold here. Right now, nah, let's, let's just not. Let's just not. Is there any draw that could happen next turn that fucks me? Not really. I, I should just strike here then. Well, I have like good defense into this, which sort of makes sense. Might as well wait for the vigilance here. take two. Sucks to suck, I guess. Now here I have kind of a bad turn, so we'll... or a bad turn for going into defense, so we should just fuck him up here. Did happen to actually draw the only defense, so whatever. Could have probably striked there, but I'm just. Maybe I'm autopiloting a little too much here. There's no way we lose the fight. If I could end on two, that would be best. damage, I think we could manage that. Perfect. Alright, we navigated a pretty bad Act 1, I would say. Continuing to brick, but bricking on the rares is not that out of the question. There's only two rares. Two to three rares. Well, three rares we're looking for. Vault is best, scroll is probably next, and then lesson learned. Every other rare is not really takeable. Unless you already have a Meditate, then Establishment becomes takeable. I do kind of wonder with my mummified hand if a Diva form could be takeable here. It's three entire energy. I doubt it's takeable. Hmm. 
Man, it could be good though. I just don't see how I justify playing that though. It's, uh, it's also ethereal. It's like, hey, there is some synergy with the empty mind, like... I could go pseudo-infinite with it, but I'd have to get it in play, and I just don't have the HP to pay, even though I do have, you know, a little bit of a max HP. I have the thread needle, but I don't know, maybe if I also had an... No, there's just, I just don't think I take it. I don't think I take it. And the other cards just aren't going to work. Most of the Roger wears want Snekalai. Okay, I think we'll just upgrade the Holy Water. That's pretty good. Now we definitely don't need a Diva form, right? We basically have a Diva form at home. Alright, two early shops, good. Question is, what's better after that? So... Can hit a lot of events, avoid hallways is good. Hit elite, we could hit two shops up and two elites, three elites actually. Wow, that looks pretty good. We get two campfires, three elites, two shops. Almost, almost a complete avoidance of hallways. The alternate is this. I can already see that's just a worse path. So, pretty clear what the path is here. Chosen is potentially awful, but on average I think better than most other fights we could have got here, so I'm not too worried, or not too sad about this. Empty Fist, Vigilance, I'd literally have to bottom deck the both of them for this to go super wrong. I think it's probably worth me putting in as much damage here as possible. Half his health, probably worth it. Okay, we're gonna fuck up our draw here. I guess I don't have to. I could just strike, strike, stay in wrath, and not play any of these skills. I'm actually quite open to that, I guarantee. Actually, I could I could I could greed here even for money. I'm guaranteed to draw the empty fist. And that kills. Nine plus times two is eighteen. Wait, I'm fucking weak. Oh, it does twenty-one anyway. Why is it doing twenty-one? Oh, because I upgraded it. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay, Wallop is takeable. Um, Infinite ever so climbs away from us, but I'm not sad to see this. Without a rushdown, we got no reason to go too hard into an infinite. Flurry without talk is no good. Cut is debatably worth it here. You wonder if a strike is better to, than a defend to remove at this point. Question is, like, on some of these just horrible fights, is it better to start with a strike or a defend? I actually think it's better to start with a defend. Collector? I think we remove a strike. That's about all I do here, though. Pretty shitty shot. Unless I think uh, Flurry of Blows or Cut is worth it. I don't really think they are. That's a good potion, Ambrosia, but I got good potions already. I'm not going to pay 100 to replace a good potion with a better one. Especially when I got another shop coming up. We just saved this money. Maybe get some removals here. Okay, that's kind of a removal. Yeah, not really then. That's arguably worse than the strike, so never lucky pretty much. But I don't know, it can be okay. With the it has synergy with the wallop, I guess, kinda. 
This fight doesn't scare me that much. Um, I'm gonna greed for money then. Swivel. I could Vigilance here. It's like paying one Miracle now for two future energy. So I pay one energy for two. I guess... Yeah, it doesn't seem good. Doesn't seem good. Maybe if I had a flurry, I don't know. I think I would take a flurry. I won't pay for a flurry right now is where I'm at. Wallop is also not so good. This is why I keep the defend though over strikes at this point. I guess a miracle conclude is okay. Eh, probably next turn we want Miracle and we have the Empty Mind. An extra six is not worth my Miracle here. wonder if I'll have to use a potion on this fight. Can I kill here? I could do 9 plus 28, 37 plus 12 is 49, plus 12 is 50, 61, it's not, not there, but I will use these miracles here probably to do some damage. Um, maybe I actually do this. Just put him really close to death. It's probably better than saving three health. I'll save more health probably in the long run if I can kill him this turn. Which I, I suppose can't. But I can full block here, which is fine. So swivel there, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> can I kill? Yeah, I can kill, right? Upgraded Protect. Are we just giving up at this point by adding that? I don't know. It's pretty powerful. Upgraded Protect. I'm definitely giving up on Infinite at that point, but we can. Not every one of the, this strategy doesn't always have to go Infinite. It maintains a thin deck that wants to stance dance a lot. Tech doesn't really help that, but it's 16 block. I don't know. I don't think I need it. Crescendo is just not really worth adding. Oh god. No. You really need to update that to just transform your strikes. That would make so much more sense. That's a shit upgrade. It's either Wallop or Empty Mind, I think. If I could draw an extra card with Empty Mind, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's gonna be Empty Mind. For now. That still opens up an infinite that doesn't include Rushdown. If I can find a few more key components. We are going to have a rough stretch here again. Seems like we have to just fight and claw our way through these runs. Nope. I can't... I don't think going to the right here is playing to win. This is probably a fight 
where wish will not be used for gold. So that kills... Yeah, it's going like this. I don't think I'll use wish here. What I want to do though is... Now I guess I'm only killing one. Damn. Eh, it is what it is. He might still not attack. I almost want him to attack here, to be honest. It's probably just easier if that's the case. So he's exactly 12. I'll do that. Got a third of his health off. These draws are weird, to say the least. God, this sucks that I can't now... I I'd love to be able to kill this guy. Um, I guess I could if I dupe pot. Fuck. I don't know. I know I need to dupe pot this fight. I'm just trying to figure out what I do. <laughs> like, how fucked am I if I go fragile and f uh, weak next turn, essentially? Because I could wish for strength and then dupe pot the strike to kill it. I'd love to dupe the wish if I'm gonna do that. Like, I could dupe it for strength, uh, but that doesn't kill this. That might counteract the weakness and then set me up better for the rest of the fight. I don't know if duping the plated armor here makes a whole lot of sense. So I'd have 12 plus 4. The enemy will for sure attack me, the, bo the boss, if I can't kill a guy this turn. It's the fucking shitty thing of it all. My wallop would block for more if I have more strength. I think we're gonna do that. I could use both potions here actually to set myself up pretty well. I, I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. So, at 12 I should actually be able to kill him if I use this here. I think it's actually worth it. Might as well actually just swivel here, huh? I think going weak and frail is gonna be too devastating next turn with how fucked this guy is. So we can wallop him after we do eruption. This sucks. This basically just sucks. <laughs> no real good option here. Here, let's go like this. Oh, I could do 18. Okay. Okay, never mind. I got an okay option here. 30, so we'll do that and that. Okay, okay that was... <laughs> well, I'm not smart enough to do the math. Well, there goes my fucking win rate. Ah, that's annoying. Why did I think 18 was gonna kill that guy? He had 10 fucking armor. Well, to be fair... I probably wasn't going to win that fight. I don't know. We really just weren't. 
Like, it just sucked. I mean, think about how many things went wrong. We got bad Neo bonuses for the umpteenth time. Um, like, every event in Act 1 was bad. It was a completely dead node every single time. Uh, Act 2 is also just like the shops were bad. The shops were fucking horrible pretty much every time that we saw one. Never found any like super takeable cards. Um, I do wonder if I had taken a cut through fate or a flurry though, if I could have got through that fight. Here's the thing, even if I survived that turn, I'm probably not winning that fight. I'm probably not winning the act, but there's a chance I coulda. You know, definitely I made a mistake, but it, it just wasn't wasn't looking good. Having to use both potions there, like it just didn't turn out well for me. But yeah, definitely if I had wall up there, that obviously would have been better than staying in Wrath and taking all of the damage without any block. That's about as bad as I could have done it, but... Ay -ay -ay. Um, I did the math wrong, essentially. I thought I was going to kill that guy with a conclude, but... Yeah, fuck me, pretty much. Oh, short video for today. Because I don't think I'm going to do another run. I... I don't know. Like, there's gonna be good RNG and bad RNG on every run, but I just feel like even with my wins lately, like... There's a lot of rough shit that's been happening. Um, eventually I feel like it has to... To gift me a few runs. I feel like I'm never being gifted too many, like, like, it can go a lot smoother than what it's been going. I know by the end of some of these other runs it looks easy, but it's like, you, you kind of forget how I had to claw my way through a lot of these, like... I shouldn't have to claw my way through these so often. Um, like, it really should be smoother, but I'm just like... I mean, you think about, like, like how many... How many things I'm missing on these shots. Think, think in the context that there are two attacks, two skills, and a, and a power. The power is almost always going to be an uncommon, and the attacks and um, the attacks and uh, skills are mostly going to be commons and uncommons. I mean, think about how many. Uh, think about the things I'm really looking for here, right? Like, there's uh, you know, as, as I just go through this, like. Uh, I guess in the context of what I was looking for at that point. Uh, another Empty Mind would work. Uh, Fear No Evil would definitely work. Inner Peace would definitely work. Mental Fortress, Meditate, Rush Down. I would probably take Sanctity at that point. Talk to the Hand, obviously. Another Wallop I'd probably take. Tantrum I would definitely take. Wheel Kick I would take. I guess we're to the rares now, but it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of hits in there, and it's just not giving me any of it. Not any of the above, you know. And normally there's more in the, I, I was just saying in the context of that run, but you know, normally there's other hits. I, like, I would argue that like, Empty Fist is often purchasable. Flurry of Blows is often purchasable, but... And maybe cut through fate, maybe crush joints, but I felt like at the the point I was at in that run, I didn't really feel like a flurry made sense. It would get a lot of procs, but I don't know. Maybe I should have bought the flurry. I could probably argue that I should have bought the flurry. Or the cut through fate. It was maybe a bit too greedy to not buy those. Hard to know if they would have helped me through those next fights, though. Versus just losing me the run in the long term. Because long term, they really aren't. Like, at that point in the game, I don't know that they're really that worth having. But, yeah, I don't know. And, you know, for what it is worth, if there are rares that come up, like, they come up every now and then too. I could probably buy a vault or a lesson learned or a scroll. I'd definitely buy those. I don't think a diva form would have done it for me. I could have maybe taken a 
blasphemy, I guess. I don't remember if I saw one. I don't think I did. But yeah, I don't know. Also, like, my transform got such a useless card. Eight uh, defense for two is such a shit payoff. I was able to make one single good turn out of it with the wall up, but, like, man, it's just such a bad card. Compare that to, like, Dash. And it's like, it basically, with a wallop, is only mildly better than a dash. If you're in Wrath, it's significantly better, I guess. But that's a lot of moving parts to even put together. I don't know. Yeah, I did. I guess I could have also taken a halt. At one point. Maybe I need to gauge a little better how desperate I am. I guess I was pretty desperate at that point, and then maybe just taking a flurry or a cut makes sense. I was trying to get myself ahead of the curve, though. Like, I, I don't know, I feel like after, if I could have fought that elite, got a good reward, could have got ahead of the curve. Just like a mental fortress would have been so good. Oh well, we'll get back to it. I obviously can't win them all. Um, that'll bring me down to 14 and 8. It's still okay. I just want to be above 50% when all is said and done. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.